In every corner of the country, Americans have been rolling up their sleeves today. Frontline medical workers in ERs, ICUs, and COVID units who've seen firsthand the pandemic's horrors. Among the first, Sandra Lindsay, a critical care nurse in New York. I feel hopeful today, I'm relieved. I feel like healing is coming. Because minor side effects can cause some people to miss a day or two of work, hospitals are staggering who gets it when. All done. Not too bad. At Methodist Health in Dallas, Teresa Mata, who cleans rooms at the hospital, was at the front of the line. They tell me I am the first person to take the vaccine, so woohoo! Across the country, hope that this is a game changer. Once uh, we get enough people to get this vaccinated, we can kiss COVID goodbye. After overnight rush deliveries, the FedEx and UPS shipments began arriving early this morning. FedEx's first delivery was at 5.53 a.m. to a hospital in Boston. UPS's first was at 7.23 a.m. in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Nationwide, 145 sites received shipments today. By the end of the week, 2.9 million doses will arrive at 636 locations in all 50 states. The first priority, medical workers and nursing home residents and staff. Next up, teachers, firefighters, police officers, and food handlers. Then those 65 and older or with pre-existing conditions. About to turn 80, Dr. Anthony Fauci expects to get his shot within a week or two. I had been saying by my calculation sometime by the end of March, the beginning of April, that the normal healthy man and woman in the street who has no underlying conditions would likely get it. Vaccination started today in hard hit New Orleans. NBC's Sam Brock talked to ICU nurse Macy O'Quinn. In the last nine months, how many times do you think you cried tears of pain? Uh, a lot. Hundreds? Yeah, I could do it right now. The most ambitious vaccination program in history is only just beginning. Vaccinations at nursing homes should begin next week. Meanwhile, Moderna's vaccine could receive FDA approval within 10 days.